Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you the CRUD operation in Firebase and Vue.js. So for this one, I am in the product page here. So what I am going to do is I am going to explain you the basic CRUD or create, read, update and delete before I work on the production page of our application. So in the production, of course, I will work on some advanced design technique for the product page. For now, we have just a uh, product name and price. This is just for testing. I am going to show you the four operation, CRAT or operation on Firebase. So that it will be easy for you when we work in the production page of our e-commerce website. So let's start. If I come to the component, the product component here, this is what all we have done. So behind the scene, I have created a little form, a, a few input fields here, as well as a button here. If I check out, this is just the name and price as well as a button to save data in the Firebase. So here we have some error. I am going to fix the error also. So before we do that one, let's create a collection in our database in the Firebase store. So we'll come here, create, click on the create collection. I'm going to name this products, which is store all the product uh, for the page. So next, let's add some fields here. If you do not add any document, it is going it is not going to exist like your collection must have at least one document otherwise there is no need of having the empty collection so it has a name let's say it is a watch and it it must have a price also so we will add another field called price and this let's say ten dollar so we save it and now we must have our first collection with our first document here which is watch so now what I'm going to do is every time I enter any product, I am going to save it in our collection products here. So how you can do that one? So what I'm going to do is we have the input and we have the V model, which has a name and the price. The reason we see the error, this is no price and no name here. This is because we didn't write those name, the, the V model name here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say this is going to be name for the product and this is going to be price for the product for now they are empty whenever user type something here it should automatically update here and after it updates we are going to take those information and save it to the file store database so i will save it for now and the error should be gone so i will clean from here we should not get those error anymore so whenever I click on the save data, it should take those information and store it in the database. So before we do that one, we have to configure our file store. That is easy. Like if you come to the file store here in the documentation, all you have to do is come to getting start tab here. It is quite easy. The only thing you have to do is you have to install Firebase, we are, which we already did. And you have to require file store in your application. So what you can do is you can copy this line. I have already done this part also. You can write it in your firebase.js. If you are following the video, we have a firebase.js in the root directory for our application. Not in the root, but in the source directory here. And what else we are going to do is you have to initialize it. Since we are not, we have already initialized it for the authentication. Here is the initialization. All we have to do is we have to do the last step. We have to use the firebase variable, which we have already configured here and we are going to say we are going to use the fire store service and store that in the db variables then we can export both of them fb for firebase db for database now anywhere in our application we, whenever we uh, import it we just import db and we use db as a database to reference all our document to write to read to delete to update anything we want to do so that's it for now and if I come to the product, I'm going to import that. And here I will write the import. And inside the bracket, I say FB for, uh, let's say Firebase. Maybe we use, maybe we do not use. For now, we do not use, but I will write it here. And DB for database. We are going to import them from, where are the file? We say go one folder back and take Firebase.js. Since we are in the view directory here, uh, we have to go one folder back and we should take firebase.js information here. Now we have access to the db variable. 
using the DB we can write we can read anything to the application so I will say for now how you can read it if you come to the documentation this is the step I am talking about so here is how you do that one you can use DB you can write the collection function see which collection you want to write and add that function is going to add data to that to that uh, collection so I will copy this code and you are adding that to the save data method whenever user click on the button save data it is going to fire the save data function and the save data is going to save those the information in the database so for now I am going to indent it a little bit and here is what we have like they have first last board but this is going to add it in the user collection for us the name is going to be product so this is the product collection and we add it which information this information right so what I can do is I can write name and price here but that is a lot of repetition once you write here once you write it there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an object here called product and this product is going to contain all this name and price anything we write here so we write it once and we reference it anywhere we want now the product is going to contain a single product emergency sorry guys there was an emergency so i have to leave the building and i'm back now so we are here and when we add the data so i just put it in the object here and you know here is the object we pass for the add function instead of adding that object I'm going to say this dot product which is going to be the object so it should work just fine now so let's test it and here is the form here I will refresh the page again so that we should, run, should not see any error but we should get the error here so let's see everything pops up and we see the error price not met at price because we put the price and name in the another object so whenever we use that one we have to say this should be product.price and the name should be also product.name so this time I will save it and refresh the page again so it should clear the form as well as the error here we should not get any error this time no we don't have any error so let's see if we can add the data so coming here let's say we sell a pin and this is one dollar and we send click on the save data we don't get any error we have the id here you go to the database and here is the pin collect <laughs> pin document and the price here that's easy like this is how you can add data so what else you have to do is the form is still here so we just want to clear the form after we submit it so how you do that one you can come here and one way is you can reference each one of these product dot name and equal to zero that but that is not a good way of doing it because if your product has a lot of properties here that has description feature image and it has some tags it has uh, some categories and it has a lot of work like you have to say this dot name equal to zero this dot price equal to zero and this dot category equal to zero that is a lot of work so how you do that one let's create a function for doing it so before I do that one let's search it on Google the way you search is it like uh, there is one of the options I, I found here for resetting for is there a proper way of resetting component to initial data in Vue.js so there are some good options here they have done it so this is the nice way like I liked it so how you can do this one this is how you do this one you say object assign this dot data which refer to the current component and it is going to empty that data here so how you do use this one you copy it you come here and here is the method I'm going to create another so this method will finish here I'm going to create a function called reset or clear clear or whatever and put it here this is all you have to do now anywhere you can use this one reset and it will reset your form here how you use this one you can say this dot product or not product this dot reset it is going to reset the data you have here so for now if I save it it shouldn't work so if I come here it is not going to work so let's see this is empty 
and let's say we are going to sell an apple so this is not an apple product is it, this is something else and this is also one dollar you click on save data the save data is safe you have your id here but you have the reset function is not defined why if i come here we see this dot reset whenever you see any error like that you ha you don't have access to reset here why because we, we we are using the old way of writing the function here that's why you do not have uh, access to this inside your function to fix this one remove it and use the arrow function this is the esx arrow function if you do this one you remove the function and you see this is our function and it refer and this is uh, our function bracket here if you save it this time now you have access to this inside your function this time it should work and let's try uh, for the last time i clean up everything from here and let's uh, sell a shoe which is ten dollar and you save data it saved the data it reset the form and everything is working just fine so this is for creating something and we have read update and delete in the next video so i hope it has been informative thank you for watching